Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Dominguez here. Still tracking a first alert weather day for the entire viewing area. It feels like temperatures will continue to flirt with that triple digit mark ranging anywhere from about 105 to 110, especially today and through Friday. That's because that excessive heat warning is still in place through Friday evening. It does expire at 10 p.m. tomorrow central time. This is a good time to look over some pet safety in the heat. It may be easy to look past some of the things that they need to stay fresh and cool during this season. Give your pets plenty of water. Make sure it's fresh and cool. Keep your pets inside and hopefully in shaded areas while you're outside. Avoid long walks and of course those high energy activities. Always check the back seat before leaving your vehicle. It is not safe to leave them in the back seat for any length of time, especially during these conditions. Now, the good news is for those folks who are just tired of this intense heat, we are finally only 29 days away from the start of fall. It begins September 23rd around 1:51 a.m. Cooler temperatures on the way and soon the leaves of those trees will begin to change and we'll be talking about highs in the 70s, which is right where we're starting off right now. We're at 72 here at WBKO Studios. It's a beautiful sunrise there. My favorite is usually Burksville, though we are seeing some patchy areas of fog to our east. Temperature there is right at 70 degrees across the region. We're all waking up to those 70s. We're right at 75 here in Bowling Green, 72 in Fort Knox, 71 in parts of Greenville. Dew points above 70 degrees already. So again, even as you step out this morning, it is going to be a bit humid out there. And of course, that feeling will just intensify into the rest of our afternoon. Winds for today going to gust anywhere between about 5 to 15 miles per hour, so it will be a bit more breezy, especially later this afternoon, but it's not going to give us any grace from those warmer temperatures later today. For now, though, the first half of the day doesn't look too bad. Temperatures starting off in the mid 70s, then we make it to the 80s around 8, tracking those upper 80s closer to the late morning commute and early lunchtime as well. We're at 92 by 12, 94 by 2 o'clock. Those temperatures will make it to the mid and upper 90s for this afternoon, tracking a high right around 98 for most of our viewing area, and we are staying dry. Even by tonight, those temperatures will make it to the lower 80s, closer to midnight. But it feels like temperatures are going to be a bit more intense. In fact, we're already seeing the possibility for feels like temperatures in the triple digits starting around 12 p.m. today. They could range up to anywhere around 105 to 110 for us. So again, just be careful out there. Make sure the pets are safe. Make sure you're safe and all of us are staying hydrated from the heat out there. We're going to rinse and repeat for Friday with those feels like temperatures back into the triple digits, this time being more intense. And it does look more likely that will be a bit warmer to close out the work week. Here is why. Take a look at our Fast Freddy's car wash forecast. Temperatures throughout the next couple of days will flirt with the upper 90s and even the lower 100s for Friday. So we could break a record there. Uh, and of course, tomorrow is going to be a bit more intense with the heat uh, because we're tracking that high around 100. And then we cool down just a bit for Saturday with a high around 94 and isolated showers expected by then. We could still break a record for tomorrow. That record set in 1943 around 102. We're forecasting a high ride around 100. And so we'll keep everyone updated to see if we break that record or not. Here's a full look at that seven day forecast after Friday. We could run into a couple of showers on Saturday. Then next week looks a lot cooler and more comfortable. We're talking about overnight lows back into the mid 60s. And Tuesday, we'll see a high around 86. By Wednesday, we'll struggle to make it past the upper 70s.